I'm Ryan, this is BroBuilds, and that is one rusty shifter. <laughs> I recently rebuilt the shifter assembly on my 1986 Pontiac Fiero. There's a pretty good amount of rust on the shifter assembly, and it's a fairly complex shape, so I decided to get rid of the rust using an electrolysis bag. The first step was disassembling the whole shifter and organizing all the parts so I didn't lose anything. Then I actually had to build the electrolysis bath. I used a plastic tote, some rebar, and some steel and copper wire. I cut the rebar down to lengths that would stick just above the top of the plastic tote. Then I drilled two holes in each corner where the rebar would be placed. I tied the rebar to the tote with some copper wire, and I twisted it up so it would be really snug and wouldn't move, and so there would be a good connection to conduct the electricity. I used wire nuts and the extra wires out of the Romex to tie all the rebar together. Then I grabbed a piece of scrap 2x4 and laid it across the top of the tote and used some steel wire to suspend the part from the 2x4. I guess you don't want to submerge copper wire into the electrolysis bath because I guess it becomes just this green nasty mess. So I used steel wire. Next I went to the utility room and started filling up the water. And using a very precise and scientific method, I added one tablespoon of baking soda per gallon of water. Finally, I added enough water to completely submerge the part that I'm removing the rust from. Okay, this part is really important. Using a battery charger on the lowest setting, you want to connect the negative end to the part you're cleaning. The positive side is connected to the rebar and this causes them to become sacrificial anodes. If you mix up these connections and you do the positive to your part, then the part you're trying to remove the rust from becomes the sacrificial anode. And that is bad news. You guys don't want to do that. After a minute or two, you'll know the process is working because you'll start to see little bubbles forming and coming to the surface. These bubbles are pure oxygen and pure hydrogen, and that's the reason I'm actually in the utility room, because it has an exhaust vent. Oxygen and hydrogen are both very combustible, so make sure if you're gonna do this, you do it in a well-ventilated area. I'm gonna let everything sit at least overnight, but I wanted to come back and check in a couple hours just to make sure everything was going okay. So while the electrolysis was doing its magic, I also put some rusty parts in a vinegar bath. I used some salt because I read that can actually aid the process of removing rust. I don't know if it's true or not, but I thought I'd give it a try. I've used vinegar in the past to remove rust from tools and it was actually pretty effective. So I thought it'd be good to compare the results of the electrolysis with the vinegar. I think one advantage to the vinegar bath is probably being able to do more than one item at once. I don't know if this is gonna reduce the effectiveness on the one single piece, but I definitely have a couple of rusty tools. We'll see how this very small vinegar bath does compared to the giant electrolysis bath I have going on. All right, this is the next day. After the two hours had elapsed, everything was fine, but there wasn't really much change, so there wasn't anything to show you guys. Oh, oh man. After about 24 hours, this is how it looks. As you can see, the rust has turned into this black crud. It's a lot easier to remove than the rust, but it still requires some elbow grease. The biggest problem I had after the electrolysis was flash rusting. I've since read that you can immediately spray the piece with some WD-40, which is apparently made to displace water. So you spray it with WD-40 and immediately dry it off to prevent some, if not all, flash rusting. So for some reason, I forgot to take any video of the part after it had flash rusted. Uh, it really wasn't that bad and it wasn't a big deal. Now to compare the vinegar bath. A good chunk of the rust was removed but it didn't seem as complete as the electrolysis. But I also didn't have any flash rusting after the vinegar. So I finished up the whole process by priming and painting everything to prevent future rust. This is the completed assembly in the car. Time to go do some driving. Later.